You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, held a tour in a number of work sites to ensure the implementation of Decision 3 of 2013 regarding the banning of work under the sun during July and August. The minister met a number of officials and ensured the commitment of work sites, which reflects the awareness of officials to the importance of this decision, especially to increase productivity. He was briefed about the procedures taken to provide a safe working environment and affirmed that the kingdom enjoys an attractive working environment, especially in protecting the workforce, which reflects the kingdom's keenness to ensure the safety and the well-being of all employees and protecting them from any kind of risk. Al Jalahma family announced their disownment from Yasser Al Jalahma and denounced the content of Al Jazeera's program, which contented a, f a front to the Kingdom of Bahrain leadership and people, expressing astonishment at the deliberate lies and falsification of facts. Al Jalahma family reiterated absolute loyalty to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Bahraini Al Buflasa family condemned the statement given by the so called Mohammed Buflasa in Al Jazeera's program, The Hidden is More Immense, which affronted the Kingdom of Bahrain and its symbols. Al Buflasa family said the allegation of the so called Mohammed Buflasa are mere lies aimed at offending the reputation of the Kingdom of Bahrain, affirming that he is not related to Al Buflasa family and he has no right to discredit the family's name and reputation. Al Buflasa family reiterated allegiance to His Majesty the King and loyalty to the homeland, vowing to stand by His Majesty's leadership to defend the country. In response to a statement broadcast by the seditious Qatar-based Al Jazeera channel, the Bahraini Belushi family has disowned anyone who betrays his homeland or family, reiterating its allegiance to His Majesty the King, loyalty to the homeland, and adherence to the national values and principles. The family said that it is an integral component of the peaceful and good Bahraini community that is loyal to the homeland and lives in peace and harmony. They added that based on such premises, it does not accept in any case that any member offends the family or tarnishes its glorious history on this land or in any part of the Arabian Gulf region. They stress that the attempts by Al Jazeera through broadcasting a video of a dead person in which he harms the homeland will not succeed and will not impact national unity. They express loyalty to the kingdom and stress their great pride in genuine Bahraini values. They noted that the attempts of Al Jazeera channel to undermine Bahrain's national unity will only strengthen the unity and cohesiveness of the Bahraini society. They affirm that the Balushi family will not deviate from the national values and principles and will always remain loyal to His Majesty the King and the Homeland. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Dr. Abdurrahman Asker, hailed the results that the Council reached regarding the death cases of people while exercising following the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. He said the findings will be referred to the Council's chairman. He praised the efforts of the participating government bodies in this regard, which reflect their keenness to study these cases and understand their causes. As part of the Kingdom of Bahrain's continuous efforts to further develop its citizens-oriented services, the Ministry of Health's Medical Supplies Department has received two of the latest high-tech medical diagnostic systems. Assistant Undersecretary for HR and Services, Fatma Al Ahmed, said that the 100,000 Bahraini dinar precision eco device enables the detection of children's congenital heart disorders, cardiac arrhythmias, and blood circulation. The 31,000 Bahraini dinar digital x-ray device enables the detection of bone fractures in the limbs, spine, and joints. Both Medical devices were purchased through the GCC's unified procurement system. Misola's Children's Theatre, in collaboration with the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the U.S. Embassy in Bahrain, performed the classical play Rapunzel in front of a packed house at Bahrain's Cultural Hall. More on this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. The U.S. Embassy in Bahrain brought back Missoula Children's Theatre to Bahrain to participate in the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities Summer Festival for the third time. The theatre group brought the classic story Rapunzel to Bahrain, which not only delighted audiences young and old, but also gave children in Bahrain an opportunity to shine on stage in this classic fairy tale that youngsters around the world know and love. 
we're really excited to have this wonderful, talented group of children from Bahrain. Um, we are also really excited to participate in the Summer Festival, which is an opportunity for us, like other uh, big uh, cultural festivals here in Bahrain, to share sort of the American spirit of creativity and dynamic interaction um, on stage and performance, in this case, with a, a group of people here in Bahrain who are a wonderful audience and who always welcome us and share with us their cultural experience. Around 100 local and expat youngsters between the ages of 5 and 16 attended an open audition to show off their acting and singing skills. Visiting MCT directors selected the final 63 cast members for the play. The cast held intensive four-hour rehearsals for five consecutive days. The purpose of Missoula Children's Theatre is to teach life skills through the performing arts. So the show we're doing this year is Rapunzel and we've had a lot of really diverse kids audition. We had over 97 kids audition and we have 64 kids in this show. Um, it's really great to see kids from literally all over the world audition and be part of something that is bigger than themselves. It's definitely a team building experience and something that they can help, uh, basically that they feel confident in and something that they've accomplished throughout the week. They don't really learn theatre and theatre skills but they learn life skills through the arts and so it's like they can take things from it they can take teamwork they can take you know getting up in front of a group and talking they can take those skills away from the week and apply them in their day-to-day -day lives and it's just nice to see how we can have an impact in communities all over the world Additionally, MCT conducted three open workshops focused on acting and drama quest for young people between the ages of 8 and 12. I find the show really useful, like especially for me. I really enjoy acting and doing that and this show has really helped me improve on my acting skills. I'm from Bahrain and my age is 11 and what I learned from this um, uh, to help other people to be kind. Acting on stage made me brave and more confident. I am 11 years old and I've learned from this experience to just have fun and be more organized with my lines and just meet new people. I'm very passionate about literature and drama and I believe that this experience has allowed me to channel my passion uh, through this performance. I've lived in Bahrain for four years and from this experience I learned to gain more confidence and to have fun and obviously to remember my lines and I hope I'll be doing this more. Such art collaborations strengthen the long-standing friendship between Bahrain and the United States and gives their peoples the opportunity to learn more about each other. As part of Bahrain Summer Festival 2019, the U.S. Embassy in Bahrain invites Missoula Children Theatre to conduct here a series of workshops and today perform the play Rapunzel starring children from Bahrain in a wonderful display of arts collaboration. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.